This is Wayne Viner with Bruce Posner. The post-game show tonight is brought to you by Coons Ford. Uh, you can hear Johnny Holiday in the background, and we hope that doesn't disturb you. Bruce, you came in for the good part of the game. Boy, did they catch on fire when they saw you. I guess 29 nothing run in the final 13 minutes. But I got to tell you, driving out of here from the station, that first half was some kind of ugly. I mean, Johnny Holiday was just besides himself. I don't, you know, you come off a game like UConn, even though they lost, there's a natural letdown. But I've said it to you, and I've said it as much as possible. It's been Jake Lehman that stirs this team. And once he you know, put home a couple threes, Wayne, that was it. This game was done. Well, what's the score sheet have for Jake there? He's got the 19 points. Seven for 14, but four for eight from the threes. So, uh, had a total of 19 points. Solid perf uh, effort. Tell us what happened in that first half with Dez. I well, apparently, this is all from hearsay on press row, at the uh, five-minute mark, Turgeon took him out in a regular rotation, and Dez said something to Turgeon about, why'd you pick on me? And uh, at that point, Turgeon just said, why don't you sit down for the next 15 minutes? And at the half, it was 30-29 Abilene Christian. Maryland was as flat as the football team was against Syracuse. Uh, that was uh, a little ugly. Once they... on the Turp Talk Show this evening on 1300 CBS Sports Radio. This to me is like an exhibition game. Uh, it doesn't count against your RPI, and we've talked you'd be better off playing Towson or American, uh, somebody local, UMBC, but a, a regular local game where it's a, a real D1 team with we have some history. Uh, this video is brought to you by Viner Consulting. This video is brought to you by Viner Consulting. Well, we saw Mark Turgeon get fired up. I mean, you know, he was he was getting on the guys. He was visibly upset, and rightfully so. They came back, though. They won the game, and that's the key thing. But uh, they got to do better than that. And certainly, I think we've seen Roddy Peters slowly being established as the point guard. It, it, it didn't take long, but what, two games, right, really one game. And he just got to have him. Dez opened up with that uh, turnover, and you're just taking him out of his game. Let him play his position, let him play his game. But there's some depth here, and uh, the depth got us through tonight. It did, so Maryland just blows them out over the second half. What was the final, 67-44? And if you're coming out on Sunday, uh, it's Oregon State. Uh, they have a connection to the Obama family, so they're expecting some extra security out here. So if you're coming out, come early. Come early. And speaking of come early and be loud and wear red, Friday night, big Maryland game. Why don't you tell them? Gino Oriema brings in his number one ranked UConn team, a powerhouse who just lost their best player. Lewis, out for maybe indefinitely, just let the word out. But they come in with they come up with the guns way after that. This is a deep team. I think that this arguably is the biggest game that's been played at Maryland. Because UConn has been recognized as the power in women's basketball. Not Duke, not Carolina, UConn. And UConn's coming in. Maryland got beat by him twice last year, handily. Brendel wants this game in the worst, worst way. If you heard the show tonight, you heard that. This is a huge game. Six o'clock Friday night. 
right here at Comcast. I'll be here. Is Viner going to be here? I could be here. You could convince me because it's number one UConn and number five Maryland. And I guess they got that six o'clock. Must have been left over from the lacrosse schedule last year. Well, yeah, you get here a few minutes late. You get here a few minutes late, but uh, it's a tough time. But it's uh, national TV dictates, especially for the women. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's going to be a great game. Maryland's healthy, ready to roll. Alyssa will stay out of foul trouble this game. It's going to be a superb effort. Listen to us on Saturday morning, and we'll tell you all about what happened on Friday night. And uh, that about wraps it. 67-44, just win, baby. I don't know what else to say. So catch us on 1580 AM at 8 o'clock for Turp Talk on Saturday in the D.C. market. And at 9 o'clock, it's the Sports Maven on 1300 CBS Sports Radio in Baltimore. And you can hear both of those on radio.com. This is Wayne Viner and Bruce Bosner signing off. And uh, we'll see you Sunday night postgame, a new regular from Turp Talk.